Member Kitchener Centre. Mr. Speaker, this past Sunday, I was honoured to be invited to speak at the Kitchener Majid to a large gathering of my constituents in the Muslim community on a very serious issue, and that is domestic abuse. This is a deeply disturbing issue that affects many families and crosses all boundaries, no matter the social, cultural, or economic context. Violence and harassment against women should not be tolerated, and for women who find themselves in these circumstances, they need to know that there is help for them. This is the message that I delivered to the gathering. In 2013, our government introduced the Domestic Violence Action Plan, which included $14.5 million in increased funding for women's shelters. Mr. Speaker, within some communities, it's very difficult for women to leave an abusive relationship as they face shame and isolation. Although they've done nothing wrong, they're accused of dishonoring their families by going public with the abuse that they're living with. I was recently asked to chair the Select Committee on Sexual Violence and Harassment Against Women. Our job is going to be to address prevention and consider ways to shift social norms and other barriers that prevent people from coming forward. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the people who attended the event at the Kitchener Majid for being courageous enough to want to talk about domestic abuse, and I say let's keep the conversation going. Thank you. Thanks.